Hello everyone, my name is Uh Oh, and today, today we're doing some more Tropica 4. Previously, we actually finished this pre legit mission to bring the glories of Soviet Russia to their all time end. A mission we would have never accepted had it not been requested upon us by the Soviets themselves. However, we're not exactly upset about it, even though the Soviet Union is collapsing, even though its glory days are long behind it and it's technically committed diplomatic suicide. Tropico's days are just starting. With the collapse of one global power comes the rise of another, and that's Macho Man's plan. It's been his plan the whole time. And now that we've dealt a fatal blow to both Russia and the United States, we are able to succeed in our goal and build a Tropican superpower the likes of which the world has never seen. Unfortunately, um, it's kind of been a bit derailed. Just a little bit. St. Clair is not looking too good. It's not looking the way we left it uh, at the start of the game, at least. In fact, it's looking like uh, it's been leveled to the ground. That's something we can't really accept. We're going to have to build St. Clair back up. We're going to have to get it back functioning 100%. And then, this is the last mission, so I guess that's the end of the game. I have no idea what's going to be sent against us this time. I have no idea what the hell's in store, but I do know one thing. There's no way in hell we can succeed. If history has told us anything, little tropican countries never succeed. So something bad's going to happen. And I've got my eyes on you, Pinotimo. You know, you've been loyal to this point. So let's see if it stays. In either case, this is the start of a mission. Uh, so, like the start of any mission, we kind of have to see what is around us, because that's going to determine what we can and can't work with. Luckily, we do have a lot of sugar. We do have a lot of sugar, so we could actually do another sugar farm system. We get a more rum distilleries out there. That would probably be a good start. It's probably where I'm going to start, actually. Because that worked fairly well for us last time. So, I'm going to put some sugar farms just up here, um, just right there. I don't know what kind of plant these are. I still don't know. They've eluded us for the entire game, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're not important. I'm going to accelerate the speed. And let's get these things going. I am selling flowers, and I am in the mood for some sizzling Latin beads. There are some minerals up there that we do have access to, and I should probably mine them at some point. Uh, we got a fair amount of gold. This is going to be a very industrial island. I get the very strong feeling of that. We'll get two sugar farms because that seems like a good idea. Get those both set to high priority. Um, construction workers still haven't started their jobs yet. They're kind of just wandering around. This is what they usually do, actually, and, uh... You know, I, I don't know why I'm surprised. I really shouldn't be surprised. This is all too usual. Alright, so now they're going off. They're going to do their thing. Going to get that up. Do we actually have the rum distillery unlocked yet? Uh, no, we don't. Okay, well, I'm not going to spend the $5,000 because that might put us close to debt. But we do need to unlock the blueprint before we can actually build it, which is kind of unfortunate. It's a little extra work, a little extra money we have to spend. Luckily, I do think we're going to be receiving funding. Even though the U.S. and USSR are completely fucked right now, I do think they will be sending us money. Ooh, it's a main quest. I am proud of you, Comrade Presidente. You are the one who taught the Tropican people that an efficient healthcare system is essential for the well-being of our society. Okay, so I gotta increase our healthcare happiness to 65. Um, you know, it's not that bad. We're, we're a little more than halfway there. I think we can pull that off. We can probably pull that off. But it's, just, it's gonna be a while. We kinda have to, you know, wait a bit in get actual exports going out before we can do anything. This is the problem with the early game, and I say this every time, is it's kind of a very slow build-up. So I'm kind of just sitting back and letting the country take care of itself at this point, because I literally have nothing else to do, except wait for these guys to do things and hopefully get financial aid soon so I can potentially buy um, an industrial center, because that would be fantastic, and I'd like to get the industry up as quickly as possible. 
Because I know for a fact that sugar's not going to sell for much on its own in the market. It never does. It never fucking does. Um, it sells for a little. Maybe just enough to actually satisfy us in the early game, but it's, it's definitely not enough in the long run. And the financial aid is really what we're riding off of. Like, this is just to mitigate the cost. These two farms mitigating cost right now. The they're not going to give us the money we need to set up the factories we need. The financial aid does that. Speaking of which, I'm going to unlock the rum distillery. I'm not going to buy it. Too expensive right now. we got to wait for the next burst of financial aid. And who would have guessed the U.S. is sending us virtually nothing? I mean, I guess we did just take down their president. Honestly, I'm surprised the USSR is giving us anything. We, we brought the cancer that is capitalism to them. They should be very angry at us right now. Oh, hey, who am I to complain? And the USSR does what the USSR does. It's their choice. Did we actually get a shipment out this time? I think we exported something. I don't think it was a lot, though. Probably like fucking $500 worth of exports. Oh no, even less. 306. Great. We're doing great. Don't worry, guys. This is perfectly normal and it's not bad in any way. We're screwed, aren't we? Uh, I like how our population is increasing, though, even though we have nowhere to put them, so that's probably not a good thing. This will just go up over time, I'm assuming, so we don't really have to even address that. I don't even know why it's a quest. Increase your population. What do you expect me to do? What do you, what do you expect me to do? Is Macho Man just going to go out in the street and point at people, procreate, 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 and make it happen? I don't think that's how it works. I'm pretty sure the population just steadily increases on its own. So having this as an objective, very weird, doesn't really mean anything. We can't in really influence it, to my knowledge. Now, I think actually we can influence it with contraception, but in a negative way. Okay, no, it'll actually increase it in a good way, because we are banning contraception. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter too much. That would require a ministry. There's no way in hell we'd get a ministry before it gets to 100 population. That'd be ridiculous. All right, uh, Soviet Russia, we are waiting for you to send us money because as it stands now, we don't have any money and I'd really like some to come in soon. I can't really do anything until it does. You know, I set up some plantations and, you know, it's going, it's going okay, $75, you know. Could really use a little more than that, but there we go. That's what I like to see, kind of. It's not really a lot of money. I actually can't afford my rum distillery, even with that amount of money, so I'm just going to hold off again and wait for the next financial aid shipment. This isn't going very well at all right now. Our health care is dropping, our population is increasing, you've got no money. Oh, this isn't going good. I mean, it could be worse, though, I guess. You know, it could be a lot worse. We could get stuck in a, a real financial rut and have the United Nations show up. That would be just fucking perfect. I really hope we get more financial aid soon because I can't afford anything right now. And that's kind of a problem. I mean, I guess maybe I could afford to get bunk houses. No, I don't even want to spend on that. I want. I really want to just get my economy up and running. And I can't do that so long as I'm waiting here to get enough money to even build the basic factory. I mean, I guess maybe I could build a mine. If the next shipment comes in and we don't make enough money, I might just build an iron mine back there and use that as my basis. Get the iron mine up, start exporting iron, because I'm pretty sure iron sells unrefined. It's still relatively high price, maybe not the highest price, but, you know, these, these countries, USA, Russia, they need their weapons, okay? And even if we're not the ones building it, they still need to get the iron from somewhere. No one wants to work their own iron. That's not how it works. Alright, that was a decent quantity. Um, can we please now have a, you know, a boon, a little boost here from the USSR? Because then we'd be able to afford, we'd actually be able to afford the factory if we got that boost. I'm just saying, it'd be a nice boost. Come on. Come on, Russia, you can do it. It's not going to happen, is it? Our population is steadily increasing. 